specifically. This matchup, probably going to be strange. I have never seen it before. I imagine that, uh, you know, Kirby being short might help out, but Snake, things like down air, uh, you know, are very, you know, that's still something very lively can hit Kirby, you know, trying to, you know, if he's crouching even. So if uh, he's not, he's not careful. Ooh, but I like this shield pressure from behind. That's kind of where in this matchup, Snake's probably going to have a little bit of issue. And as it stands, that kid, he has the lead, and I like this. Doesn't want to approach when he doesn't have to. Just sitting, oh, hopping around, saying you have to make the approach happen. And Snake's approach options, I mean, they're not the worst thing in the world, but the gap between his offensive slash defensive options is pretty dang noticeable. So I like this approach from that kid. Just hang on out on that platform, kind of air camping him. Ooh. But look at this right now. They're just like barely being outside each other's range, but kind of overextending, throwing out a back air, a move with end lag. How dare you? Um, that being said, so the thing is, all right, in this matchup, first of all, yeah, that's the thing. That kid has to start thinking about how he's going to get the kill. And Kirby kind of, I mean, down air, oh, sorry, uh, back air and smash attacks, pretty viable kill options. And I think down air can also set up into some things, but down air, very slow move not likely to actually be landing and we see already the, the as soon as that kid realizes he needs to be getting the kill all of a sudden his neutral is a little bit more limited and G ninjendo's been starting to make this gap much less wide the down throw this is a possible oh i'm not sure what that down b was i think maybe i thought maybe i, I genuinely have no idea but he kind of he followed him through on the tech chase but didn't actually get the kill that might be massive for that kids Oh, he tries to run in there for the grab. Kirby grab under these platforms. I don't know if the up... All right, the up air is going to do it. That might have been some questionable DI, but, like, why would you ever DI for Kirby up air? And now that... And now that that kid has, in fact, taken that stock, he doesn't have to play looking uh, fishing for the kill anymore. Uh, but in either way, he's actually approaching more than he had been in the past. At 144%, he's actually looking pretty decent. Yeah, that up tilt is definitely one of Snake's best kill options and plays around it beautifully, getting a nice solid damage combo in. 63 already, and now... Oh, wait, 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 wait you're right there! Wait, wait, I did you not see it? C4 was right there. He finally got the inhale, which I don't know if that'll really help Kirby. Oh, speaking of helping Kirby, a down tilt trip. Uh, is it still 30% chance? I think it might be. Conan clutch for that, kids, because that bullet smash, we saw how, you know, on the first stock, it took him to about, I don't know, 150, I think, to get the kill. And all of a sudden, he kills at 80. Look at the difference it can make. Oh, that kid's... Lapped him in percent, but Ninjendo definitely not going to give up without a fight. And Snake has the tools, has the potential to make a comeback happen. He's very heavy, and he also has such hard-hitting moves. But that kid has already shown that he's really good at playing around those hard-hitting, devastating options that Snake has. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he wants to suck up. I actually want to see it, too, because I genuinely wonder how that would change the neutral. Um... And there it is, the up tilt. I think I actually heard the beginning frames of inhale come out. I think he was maybe fishing for that particular option just a little bit too hard. You have to respect that if you go into the air, you're, uh... Ooh! The up tilt is a risk. But now Nintendo on 143% trapped off stage here. Do, do it, my, the grenade just take it to the face? That kid, I think, was hoping to get some kind of edge guard in there, but no such luck. Now 31% onto him. He doesn't have to be scared of that much. But, oh, all of a sudden he's at 66. In a matter of moments, just a few if a few more missed interactions, and he is at up to kill percent. Hey, but he doesn't need to. That's actually the second up air kill that we've seen. So if you look at the three kills that that kid's got, one of them uh, was the down tilt to F smash at the ledge. Kind of got a little bit lucky with that, but, you know, just... Solid stuff, but the other two were these up airs at very high percent in the middle of this stage. And I know kind of why those got landed. It's probably because when you're playing against a Kirby, it, that per, at that particular zone, you don't think you're threatening to die. Like, you think about back air killing you, like run up, rob back air maybe, but up air? 
But it's already shown that, I mean, twice now, up there at 145, especially with some decent amount of rage on that, that kids, it can kill. So if, if uh, Nintendo starts playing around that, it'll be a lot harder for that kids to actually close out stops, especially once Nintendo gets to those higher ranges. All right, big combos to start. Chain crabs as he's dragging him across the stage. I like that baiting him to, to detonating the C4, but that kid's at the moment. I, you know, I wanted to dwell a minute on this stage. Oh, that was such beautiful spacing. There are a couple moves that have really sort of carried that kid. Ooh, and neutral air is one of them. Let's see if we're going to see some type of edge guard. Oh, not really able to time it properly. And with that, Ninjendo now has the stage control. Looking for that down air. That time he finds it, it does so much damage while three of those hits connect. And that kid's... Oh, I like that! Actually got a phantom footstool right there to create some distance, knowing that the grenade was about to detonate. Whenever Snake is holding a grenade in his hand, you cannot get too hungry. You can't just mash on the shield. Beautiful edge guard. Great patience from that kid. Just holds off, waits for that air dodge end. With that, he has a stock lead, and he might be able to extend it even further. Oh, I'm not sure exactly what he was looking for there, but good jump out from Ninjendo. Avoids that forward smash, which could have been absolutely brutal. Ooh, we're starting to see down tilt in neutral. Down tilt from Snake, not necessarily the most popular option, but against a smaller character like Kirby, I can definitely see why he's going for it. You know, look, he's trying to get as much damage as he can, so that up tilt can uh, then be a really effective kill option. And that's the point where we're at right now. I like that air dodge up to the flat, or up to the ledge, making sure that he doesn't have to risk ooh, up being into it. Taking his time, burning all of his jumps. And this time around, that kid's not getting hit by these errant uh, projectiles that are just hanging out on the stage. But in the end, it forced him into shield. And a nice read later that Ninjendo manages to even up the stock count. And at this moment, oh, the fact he caught that grenade actually ended up being really not so great for him. But I 94%. He does have that kid's at the ledge. That kid's just not to be scared of that much. You know, save for if he wants to go insane with a forward air, which we are not at the point where he really needs to be doing that. I also, if you notice there, he grabs out the grenade and then turns with his back facing the ledge. That was why that grenade detonation worked right there. And now that kid's, ooh, at 80% already. Yeah, has to throw the grenade away because he does not want to get hit by it. Oh, just like that. And this is the sort of situation where despite the fact that that kid had been ahead this entire game, he is currently in danger of dying. Look at that dash attack sending him so far. And if an up tilt lands, that's absolutely going to be it. Why would you jump all the way into that grenade? <laughs> he like, I think he was hoping to catch it maybe, but uh... Oh, and there's the up air again. And we see Nintendo kind of jumping in his seat a little bit, giving him kind of a bob right there. Maybe trying to work himself up as... Nice job evening up the stock count. One apiece. That kid only needs to take this stock and oh, so close. He saw the wind box begin to pull him in. We haven't yet seen uh, Kirby with the beard. So I'm wondering, you know, that kid seems to be hungry for it. There's probably a very distinct reason for that, especially when these percents are even. Oh, having a tool, having a tool like that can be huge. But there's only 0.1% separating them. That grenade's about to detonate. He drops it just in time before it does. I'm liking the neutral right now between these two. Ninjendo kind of taking more of an aerial approach. We actually saw in game one, that was that kid's game plan. But this time around, oh, and not respecting the C4. I should be giving you guys regular PSA updates in case you don't know where it's going to be. Oh, great job. Just being outside of it. A trade getting the trip. But now that kid's at 103%. He can die to an up tilt. Absolutely. He has to be careful about that. And that limits his approach options. Speaking of approaching, he just runs into that down tilt. Ninjendo now is trapped at the corner. 100%. Looks for the down smash, but does not find it. A great shield from Ninjendo. And you see that up tilt coming out. He's putting the splits on him. That kid's... Okay, with a little bit of stage control. A neutral there, but blowing up. That grenade's going to prevent any more pressure. He's trying to find some way to trap the landing here. Dash attack just barely whiffing. 
Both of these guys recognizing that this is do or die moment. That kid's trying to find an F-Tilt, staying very, very grounded, knowing that he doesn't want to go up there and get up tilted himself. And Nikita! Oh! Not the strongest hit of it, but this is now at 123%. And the dash attack, but the grenade detonating, that might have actually been an opening for Nintendo to take the game, but being a little bit too nervous. This is actually the point. That hits and he grabs him now. That should be the kill. Another one of those up airs that we've seen take so many stocks, but not this time around. He's looking for a back air, maybe a grab. Oh, no, the grenade blows up on him. Both of these guys sitting at 150%, respecting the C4. And, oh, yeah, he's looking for that up there, trying to find any finishing hit that he can. It is worth noting. Oh, he has to re -grab the ledge, and that kid's recognizing it. Goes right in there, gets the down smash, and that's that kid's moving on in bracket 2-0.